Hello everybody, my name is Kieran and welcome to The Checkpoint, the only gaming channel that stalks cheap through mountains. And today I'm going to bring you the very first episode of my new Minecraft series which is called The Survivalist Challenge. Now I did upload an introduction video for this, so if you haven't seen that, um, I'd recommend checking it out. Basically I'll just go over all the rules in this challenge. I'm going to briefly go over them now, I'm in hard mode, I can only have one chest at a time, I can destroy that and uh, pick it back up and transfer all my items. I can't have a permanent house, so I'm always on the move. Um, no beds. I uh, have to kill the end dragon, that's kind of the end goal. And every one minute I spend overground, I must spend 10 minutes in the nether or underground. So, that's that. That's the uh, the rules briefly explained. I'm gonna... How do I create a, a seed? Can I... There we go. Okay, so the seed is gonna be Steve is fag. Um, so if you want to play along uh, in this world, then please do use that Steve is fag seed. It's actually a very good world, and no, I'm joking, I've never seen the world before. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to call the world name Survivalist Challenge. Is Okay. Um, more world options. Uh, world type. No, whoa, whoa. Okay. How do I um, change the difficulty, I wonder? Okay, I'm just going to create this, and I'll change the difficulty once I'm in there, because I do have to play this on hard mode. If it actually loads the world, Jesus Christ. Why are you so slow? Come on, Minecraft. There we go. Good. Okay. Okay, so we're in like some pine forest thing. I'm going to quickly change the uh, difficulty here. Uh, if I have not already. Peaceful. Jesus Christ. Gah. Okay, so the rule uh, spending in time in the overground doesn't apply here. So I can um, spend as much time here, but as soon as I go into a cave like to collect some coal or something, the rule will apply. So when I come back out into the open, I'm going to have to kind of conserve my time. But uh, we're going to do what every billion pe people that have done a Minecraft playthrough do, and that's going to punch a tree. And um, I'm not sure where I'm going to build this home here. Uh, I'll probably build a shelter for the first night, and then obviously I can just uh, make that very basic, because I'm never going to be making a permanent house. That's why it's called the Survivalist Challenge. Well, partly why. Um, what wood is this? Spruce. Okay, it's good old spruce. And uh, no beds, so sheep are pretty much useless to me. Unless I want to use wool for kind of some decoration blocks. But then again, why would I need to? Because I have, don't have a permanent house. So, that's kind of a good thing. I don't have to worry about loads of decorative materials and stuff. We're doing like a pure Bear grills, man versus wild kind of thing over here. Which is, which is cool. Okay. Really? Come on, man. That's that's quite mean. So, again, we don't pr probably don't need to collect that much wood since we don't need to build a massive shelter. Um, I'm most likely going to build it out of dirt because uh, if I try and get it out of stone, that will probably require me going to a cave, and I don't want the, uh, the rule to start on a delay that start of the uh, overground, underground, never rule where I have to spend 10 minutes. Uh, for one minute in the overground, I want to delay that as much as possible because that is, might be my downfall. So if I end up spending like 15 minutes in the uh, overground, it's going to be a lot of time I have to spend underground or in the nether. So uh, I should probably make some tools. That is, uh, should I keep some? No, I won't. Okay, let's make this. Now I want to try and find like a a, a cliff of some stones. See. I guess I could go there. Oh, perfect. See, I can see some coal there already, which is good. Um, I'm going to smash this down, uh, create some sticks, and a pickaxe, and uh, hopefully I can make some stone tools from this. I'll probably be spending most of my time underground, purely because that is where I'm going to get the most action and a lot of materials. Um, obviously, I do need to kill the end dragon, so that requires me going to the nether to get all the blaze rods. I haven't played this uh, survival in a while, so I know there's like horses and stuff, which is quite a old update, that came out quite a while ago, but um, I haven't really familiarized myself with them, and I think they probably will be useful, because it means I can travel in the overground faster, so to get to, if I need to get anywhere in the overworld, um, so that means obviously I won't have to spend as much in the nether or underground, which is a good thing. So, I'm not sure how much I'm going to collect here. I've got 15, I'll probably just wear out this entire pickaxe and uh, then I'll probably f try and find a deep cave 
and uh, instead of building a shelter for the night, I might just go straight into a cave. That's probably the more sensible thing to do, because whilst the mobs are up above the ground, uh, there will be fewer mobs in the cave. At least I think that's how it works. I could be completely wrong. But uh, this is gravel. I don't. I guess I could use some gravel for um, flint to use for arrows. So I might dig that up once I make myself one of these stone pickaxes. Now this doesn't actually count as a cave because I've just dug into a into a wall, so it's not a cave. I'm not. I don't want you guys to be that sneaky. Oh my god, if you pause the video at like four four minutes, seven seconds, you can see diamond. There'll probably be quite a few of those comments, depending on how the series goes. I know it's still a small channel, but uh, I don't want any anything like that. Alright. This will be the last use of the pickaxe. No. Nope. There we go. Okay, so. Jesus, we destroyed that. Soz. Okay. So I'm going to make some more sticks and some uh, a furnace would be useful to make to bring with me. Um, as would an axe, one of these, and of course a sword. And let's make this furnace. I don't think I'll need to make a chest for a while. Now, when I say I can only have one chest, I can make more than one chest. I can only have one kind of open at a time. So that's, that's kind of that cleared up. Alright. Time to uh, slay these pigs. This is going to be a very, very... What? Huh, I thought it didn't drop me any beef. I was like, what a scam. i get some saplings. If I can manage to grow a tree underground, that would be very useful. I'm not sure if you can or not, though. I guess there's only one way to find out. And, uh... Okay, this is, I'm very lucky here that I found these, and uh, again, if I can try and get some seeds and things like that. Try and collect as many materials as I can now, before I have to venture my way into a cave. So I want as few excuses as possible to go back into the overworld. For example, these, if I ever need mushrooms or anything, I don't know why I use my... Oh, that doesn't use up your... Ah! So if you punch like a... That's quite useful to know, actually. Alright. Where is pig? Oh, hello. Okay, just need to remember that that direction is west. And that's where the caves were that I found. Well, I just saw a little opening. It might not be a full cave, but... What is with picking up? It can't be lag, because I'm just on a... um off Like an offline server. Which is usually the safest way to go around things. Okay, yeah, this is a very good amount of food I'm collecting right now. I'm going to want to get this chopped up um, and cooked and marinated in a lovely sauce as fast as possible. So I've got 22. That's very good for a beginner, I must say. Um, well, I'm not a beginner at Minecraft. I've played this game for ages, but... For a start, uh, where's the sun? What? There's no sun, apparently. Okay. Maybe I need to change out my settings. Oh, hello, chicken. Oh my god, there are so many pigs. Jesus! And a nice open field. I can... Oh, cows. Oh, very. That would be very useful. I'm actually going to go there now. And uh, I need to cook this food pretty quick. Otherwise, I will starve. And there's more pigs there. This is very, very good turnout. Alright. Lots of cows. So you do need leather for bookcases. I think that's a very, very old achievement that they put in the game, but... It's quite a painful thing to do. Unless you create a cow farm. Which, uh, if I'm going to spend time building a farm, I'm going to try and make it underground. Because um, of the uh, underground rule, but we're, we're going to have to see how that how that goes. Again, I'm not really sure what you can and can't do if uh, animals can uh, kind of breed and if grass can grow for them to be able to do that kind of stuff underground. We we'll have to we have to see. Okay, 
Alright, time to get this food cooked. Um, okay, I'm not going to worry about that pig. I don't want to kill all of them. I'll leave a few. Um, I'm just going to use... I'll just use that for now. And I'll cook about five. And uh, then I can take this into the little cave that I found to the west, which is that way. It's kind of in that direction, I think. Come on, cook. Uh, I'm just going to have a little wander over here. I'm just going to slice this pig up. Nope. Sneaky beaver, trying to get it away from me. Okay. Oh, I hate not being able to run. It's like, oh, God, I can't run. All right. Three, is that all? Oh, that's a poor turnout. And, um, oh, the sun's there. Don't know how I missed that. Have I turned clouds off by any chance? Let's see here. Um, I have. That's better. Look at those pretty things. Ah, Minecraft clouds. All right, so this will be five, which we'll probably do. Actually, uh, there's probably enough to cook one. Is it there? Nope. Damn it. Okay. That will do me nicely. For the while. Lunch on this. I have to learn to walk. Um, obviously, when I was killing those pigs, I was jumping about like a jack in a box, and that's not really what we, what we want to do. So let's venture into this cave, into the unknown, and let's kill these pigs first. How did I not see you guys? Jeez. Uh, there are some. In fact, where's go? Okay, that's where I destroyed the uh, thing. Okay, it's getting dark. I think it's cave time. Oh, it's not even a cave. Oh. So we're going to have to kind of... Uh, am I going to build a temporary shelter? I mean, if I do... That means... What the hell is going on there? Jesus. If I do, it means I can't sleep because I can't have any beds. So I am in quite a sticky situation here. <gasps> Ooh. 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 Okay. This looks good. Oh god. I'm breaking the rules of Minecraft to get away from this zombie. Leave me alone, Matt. Oh god. It's gravel. Okay, I really do need some uh, coal. Oh, nice bit of flint there. Yeah, I definitely need some coal to make some torches because, uh,. Vision is going to be quite painful. Okay, we've got some iron. Let's just tab, uh, shift rather. Don't fail me now. Okay, coal. That's good. It's a good sign. I think I just saw that we can dig all the way down here. It may be breaking the rule of Minecraft, but I don't care. I don't care, bitch. All right. So. Ooh. That is very useful. Okay. Let's block ourselves off from any uh, sneaky mobs trying to ruin the party. Oh, there's iron there as well. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So this is a pretty good start, actually. We've got ourselves a lot of food. Uh, we're kind of set for the journey. Okay, that's not, that's not the greatest coal vein in the world, is it? Seven. That's quite shit. I'm not going to lie. Okay, it's gonna grab this. Uh... Okay, eight iron. That's good. I think I'm gonna try and make myself an iron sword. That's kind of my priority. All right. So again, I don't. This doesn't. Does this count as a cave? I guess. Oh, yeah, it does count as a cave. Um. Okay, I could go to there to that iron, which I'm gonna do now. But I'm gonna create some torches. Torches are. Oh God. They're better than life itself, actually. Um, Alright. That should be a few. That should be uh, 28, if my calculations are correct. There we go. Those math skills, though. Be jealous. Be very jealous. Oh, that's better. So, oh, God. Okay, that, that that's good. That's good. Okay, so... Oh, God. I'm 
going to venture down there because, um, oh my god, there's loads. Excellent. This is a very good, this is a very good start here. And I'm not sure how long this recording has been. I want to try and keep these episodes like um, 15 minutes long or so. And I think this has been roughly 50 minutes. So I'm going to conclude the first episode there. And um, when we start up again, we're going to be, we're going to be heading for that. And down there into the unknown, we're going to venture into the land that is beyond us and awaiting us. And if a mob drops here, I will die. And I can hear a, ooh. Ooh, no. Oh no. Travis, we've got a problem. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching the very first episode. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already, and follow us on Twitter at Real Checkpoint. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Now, I did upload an introduction video for this. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake.